Hi everybody. I hope you're having a great day today and welcome to the New Sage channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Wraith. Now, Wraith's real name is not known, but we do know that Wraith is an acronym and it stands for William Rudolph's Ace in the Hole. Now, Wraith originates from the Triangulum Galaxy and he is a male of his gender. He has red eyes and no hair with gray skin. He made his first appearance in Superman Unchained number one, August of 2013, and his apparent death occurred in Superman Unchained number nine in January of 2015. Wraith has an impressive array of abilities. He has a physiology that's similar to, but much stronger than that of Superman. And he's noted that the amount of control he has over his energy signature has taken him decades of training. He's capable of absorbing and manipulating the absorption of electromagnetic energy, especially solar energy. His absorption when controlled averages at about 160 gigawatts of solar energy. He's able to release large blasts of energy that are capable of destroying large metal structures by somehow causing them to detonate. He's also able to manipulate his energy signature to such a degree that he can transform his body in minor ways, such as to develop spikes that can emit the same signature as kryptonite. Wraith possesses the ability of flight and he's capable of tightening his throat muscles to create an echo chamber in order to release a sonic attack from his mouth. He has superhuman durability and can withstand more force than Superman. He has superhuman speed as well, and it was shown that he could catch a very fast punch from Superman with minimal effort. And in Wraith's appearances, it's shown that he has a strength that's far greater than that of Superman, one time being able to kick him halfway across the continental U.S., now, he did display very basic hand-to-hand -hand combat skills, though. Unlike Superman, who's always had to be prepared to fend for himself, Wraith has had the U.S. military backing him for much of his career. As a result, he only has very basic hand-to-hand -hand skills, relying heavily on his powers instead. Another apparent weakness is that, much like Superman, he's able to be weakened and even stopped by the use of radioactive isotopes that interact with his specific energy signature. Now, he's also been shown as using very advanced technology that he received from the quote-unquote machine. For instance, one device he had cloaked his energy signature. And to fight Batman, he used a suit of armor that covered his arms, legs, and torso, and it was made from some kind of red crystal, and it negated the effects of the radiological frequency that he's vulnerable to. Now, when we were on the brink of World War II in 1938, U.S. scientists sent a mathematical equation into space, but the equation was incorrect and added up to more than the sum of its parts to signify the message, let's add up to more together. Eleven seconds later, a ship crashed landed on Earth with a similar, more complex equation with a gift enclosed. This gift was the alien who'd be known as Wraith. The U.S. Army built a home for Wraith, and that home was known as the Machine. And in return, he'd operate in secret for the Army during world crises. His first major mission was to act as the bomb that dropped over Nagasaki, which led the world to believe the U.S. had more nuclear arms than it really did. And he served to minimize conflict and eliminate global threats around the entire world for 75 years until the arrival of Superman. Now, Wraith admired Superman and ultimately aided him in the conflict against the terrorist group Ascension, though he regretted that he believed he would eventually have to be forced to kill Superman at the request of the U.S. Army if he grew too powerful or was otherwise ordered to do so. The one order that Wraith did not follow as given by the U.S. government is to find out Superman's human identity. He saw no reason to do so because he considered that Superman would eventually be forced to shed his human disguise because of the circumstances of his loved ones aging and dying around him. Now, although Wraith is not as witty as Superman is and some of the other Justice League characters, he is extremely powerful. And due to his influence on the DC Universe and his powers and abilities, I'll give him a 1 to 10 rating of 7 which is a master rating. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.